Marinelli, you need to fix your scooter, huh? I finished the oil completely. Put more. Okay, Give me two minutes. <laughs> Here you drive a scooter without oil in it. Is the engine making this sound? Cool. Yeah, now it's probably too much, but okay. <laughs> now much better. Thank you. Yeah, always. And I knew it was physical, but it was that physical. Me, honestly. <laughs> Certainly is waiting for media in about seven minutes. Not excited. So TV? Yes. I can't say nothing from... Go, Julie? Okay. Yes. Marcos. Silly season is basically the time of the year where the rumour mill goes into overdrive as to which riders are going into which teams next year. Who's going to re-sign? Who's going to maybe even retire? Who's going to go to maybe even another championship? I've had five years here. It's been an amazing journey. It's not a chapter closing. It's about we have a lot of history. Here. With Ducati, we've had some amazing moments. It's the way it goes. Master. It's called the silly season because normally at this period of the championship, you get a lot of silly rumours. The fans love it, the media love it. There's always kind of gossip and speculation dominating the paddock about who will go where. I made my decision, my decision. I understand why I'm worried enough to make a documentary about who's going to get the spot. Stupid interview that you don't need. Creating problems where there's not a problem. They try to make clickbait. This year, it's been one of the silliest seasons ever. Almost every single top rider was on the market looking for a contract. And it's, it's part of the game. This is a, a cutthroat business. Well, we have Pippi, so all is OK. Hey, Pippi. Hey. We have you, so everything's OK. Obviously. Bye. Five minutes, your first MotoGP action of the weekend. It's not a normal reaction. Something is wrong. Oh. As soon as I put the bike down and tried to go out with my body, the bike immediately stand up. Oh, great. Oh, great. 24 laps of Barcelona, Catalonia. It's the Catalan Grand Prix. I cannot do nothing at that point, and that's not normal. I finished 34 seconds behind for sakes. I tried to fight to in, but I can't do anything. Jack Miller is different from the others, more open, more genuine, more Australian, more crazy. He's got In Jack, there is something different about being uh, directly related to people. He's always the same man, even if there is the filter of a camera. 
Yeah, have you ever seen the movie? There's a movie about it. Das Boot, Das Boot. And what you need to do is you need to, when you drink from the boot, you need to twist the boot. It's about the twist, otherwise you get the splash. He's the same in front of the camera and behind of the camera. And this is what I like best of Jack. You don't think about it while it's happening? Well, while COVID was on, you didn't really think about it at all. In 2020, the factory deal, so the whole time through, through my factory contract, basically, I've been uh, in COVID. So once you get back to normality and you see how cool it actually is, then you remember it. Come for the camera, for Red Bull TV. <laughs> To be around Jack Miller on the grid is just to have a good time. It doesn't matter whether you're a member of his team, a journalist, a commentator, or someone like me doing Instagram lives. And I think uh, that's very, very important for a team harmony. Nelly, you need to fix your scooter, huh? I finished the oil completely. Put more. If you continue to ride like this, it's going to break yeah. tomorrow. Yeah. Give me two minutes. <laughs> he drive a scooter without oil in it. Is the engine making this sound? Full? Yeah, now it's probably too much, but okay. <laughs> this period is uh, particular, always uh, when uh, we have to look uh, forward to the future. It's a challenge, of course, because once you change, especially after a few years, uh, you have to feel some boost of motivation. to please you. She's ferocious. And she knows just what it takes to make a bold Maybe in terms of development for the future, if you are moving on to a new team, you're maybe not going to get the technical support that you might have had because you, know, you don't want a rider taking some of your, your big secrets to a new manufacturer the following season. But I think everything's sort of kept as sort of friendly and as professional as it possibly can be, even when it's difficult to be parting ways. Jack's out of the silly season now. He can focus on a, a great end of 2022, and we look forward to seeing what he can do next year on the KTM. How was your morning? weekend like that. It's different this track, you know, it's a lot of fun, but uh, it's technical because it's like a go-kart track with, uh, with the motor GP bike. Jack will bring uh, for sure different experience. In the last eight years, uh, he already uh, rode two different bikes. We know him uh, very well. We will enjoy for sure his attitude and uh, his approach to the, to the races and uh, to the life. You really spend a lot of time here in the box. Yeah, I like it. I mean, uh, at least I'm here if the guys need me. And yeah, I think it helps to, to keep me in the zone. You know, I'm just here for uh, here to answer them and give my feedback the best I can. Okay. I come back now after. Uh, two minutes. Two minutes. I'm a very big fan of motorsport. 2013, I discovered Jack. I thought he was a very fast guy, and I wanted to keep an eye on him in the future. Viva, Viva Mila! It began like a very, a very small idea that I thought nobody would like it, and it ended up being like a very po popular quote, like Viva Mila. <laughs> How many memes have you done so far? 378, I think it was, before I checked. <laughs> I think he has a very special sense of humor. Is there a blackout? Yeah, just waiting. Even if he's in a serious atmosphere, he always finds a way to do a lot of crazy things and funny, <laughs> funny scenes. Ole! They forgot to pay the bill. Yeah. It happens to all of us sometimes. <laughs> the dashboard is flashing on and off. Everywhere, everywhere. Dashboard was cutting in and out. Bike was cutting in and out. But... <laughs>
I've had better afternoons, that's for certain. But, no, it's not bad. Second row, we can do a good job from there. You know, I didn't mean to, I saw the yellow flag and everything, but I had a big vibration in the front tire. It caused me, well, I braked earlier and caused me to go down. So. Go and plead my case. Track conditions over 50 degrees, yellow flags are out everywhere. Miller comes into the long lap penalty. You can't take your eyes off this German Grand Prix. We're only on lap number five. The Gian Antonio gets a little bit hot in the first corner. Miller sweeps on through, but he runs wide on the brakes into that tricky first corner. Jack Miller has now taken fifth place. He's ahead of Fabio Di Gian Antonio. Simon, down to you for some quick thoughts. Yeah, just a quick one. Jack Miller, some laps has been catching these Aprilias by half a second in one lap. Damn league start finish rate, but Jack Miller, as Simon pointed out, is starting to reel in. Fighting back into Vinales goes way out wide. That's promoted. So Alain Spargo has no longer got his teammate for company, but he's now got Jack Miller. So Miller, he'll be desperate to hang on to this podium now, having been released by the factory Ducati team at the end of 2022. He was breaking quite late, but he was missing the line every lap. Alessio Spargo struggling with that rear tyre. Jack Miller ahead of Alessio Spargo. A top ride by Jack Miller after the long lap penalty. He took third late on from Alessio Spargo. Oh, uh, practiced the long lap penalty a couple of times. Pace feels OK. So he's looking for yeah. the person, isn't he, in the grandstand that waved the flag. Hopefully that's the right recipient, yeah. because pre-race there was a fan in the grandstand that requested a glove of Jack Miller. I loved uh, looking at Miller, at Jack uh, doing his long lap. It uh, was not a long lap, it was a crazy long lap or just a crazy lap. Sorry, mate. What happened? Yeah. The system dropped. You see, I did. Yeah, you did well. But then I saw you not there. I thought, okay, either he's going in the gravel, like you picked it up but it was too late, or uh, I tried that. Very good, Jack. Thanks, mate. Good Thank you. When it's time to have a party, they all look similar. They all shout, they all uh, open uh, and spray bottles, they all feel the same. I mean, happiness is for everyone.